No, at six, if you put off an airplane trip or thinking about canceling a flight because of the coronavirus pandemic, you need to be on the ball. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, airlines would much rather give you a voucher than a cash refund. Well, you've decided not to take that big trip to Europe. You have tickets to San Francisco. You don't want to go because of coronavirus. Well, before you go any further, take the advice of an airline ticketing expert. If an airline canceled a flight that you had a ticket on, the airline owes you a refund, period. Sounds simple, but what if because of fear of flying due to coronavirus, you decide not to take a flight? Things get tricky and you could lose money. If you've got a trip plan for later this month, even if you have mentally decided I'm not taking that trip, here's why you should wait as long as possible to cancel. If the airline is the one who cancels your flight, then you're owed a cash refund by law. If you voluntarily cancel your ticket on a flight that's scheduled to operate, then all that you're owed is a voucher. This is a voucher. Most airlines have them posted electronically, have restrictions, fine print, might not allow you to, with your voucher, purchase on another airline, may not be used for an upgrade, have an expiration date, but listen to this. You don't want to do nothing because if that flight takes off and you're a no-show and you haven't canceled before, you're not gonna get anything. Most airlines are not charging change fees right now, but if you are sitting on tickets for an upcoming flight or have a voucher and booked yourself, you gotta be on top of the fine print because. Every airline right now is so hard pressed for cash and they are seeing more money going out the door to, on refunds than coming in the door on new tickets and new bookings that they're trying to do as anything they can to limit the number of refunds as a way of preserving cash. Now, according to Scott Keyes, if the airlines changes the departure time or they reroute you, well, you can ask for cash. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.